I said I would always be with you. You promised me the same after all we've been through. I let you down. Losing our baby was my fault. How could I ever make it up to you? I never could. But you stayed. I've never been really frightened of anything. But I was then. Frightened that you'd leave. The day I saw you down on one knee. <laughs> you were ashen and swallowing hard. You made me whole again. Yes. Yes. I will. My turn to be pale. My mother said I matched the dress. That made me laugh. I thought about you. And my smile stayed for the rest of the day. The happiest moment I'd known. As you held my hand saying, I do. All I needed was you. And you promised to never love anyone more. You broke that promise. I was terrified and you made me feel ashamed. So many precautions. They were second nature by now. How? Didn't matter. You knew I couldn't cope with loss again. It wasn't a baby yet. I said it. Abortion. You winced. I asked you for support. I asked you if you understood. You paused. Don't ask me to do this again, please! But you didn't ask. It was my choice, you said. You left me alone. You wanted this child so much. And you knew. You knew. I wanted her for you. Whether you said it or not, you made me choose. The only thing I couldn't do, or the only thing I couldn't lose. If I could have it any other way, would I? Anything for you. As you cuddled and comforted. Tiredness and sickness, appetite. It'll all be worth it, he said. What about yoga, hypnosis, uh, bowling? Bowling? <laughs> you laughed. <laughs> I did, for once. Anything to take my mind off it. It helped. A healthy little lump. Like the one in your throat showed up on the screen. Your eyes glistened. He choked up and tried to hide all that glee as I sat there, stony white and terrified. Every day I felt like a year, until we passed it. We passed the point I'd lost our first. I felt hope then, swimming somewhere in all my dread. It was never morning sickness. Never. Then it came. Oh, you must be getting nervous, you said. You reckoned it was false labour. It was much too soon. Bang. No. No mistake. Hospital now. You weren't so calm then. A blur of excitement and a bundle of nerves. You were shaking when you squeezed my hand. A doctor, a nurse, receptionist, cleaner, policeman, surgeons and strangers. I saw them all, or none of them. Then there was only me. Breach, a, a, a breach, birth, a flurry of activity, an eternity. I couldn't breathe. I spoke, no sound. I grasped, no strength. Then, a little girl. Hill and blue. Maybe you were right. It would be. It could be different this time. If I had embraced it from the start. If I hadn't been so anxious. If I hadn't made myself so ill. It's all I ever wanted. For me, for both of us. 
You gave up the family you wanted to make me happy. I tried to give it back to you. It's too late to change it now. Nowhere to kiss your neck and thank you. I heard what they said to you as I slipped away. She's gone. I could not move or speak or cry. I could not come to you and comfort you. But I have one last gift for you. The last piece of me I could give. Love her for both of us.